for our second question, um, I'm going to ask Representative Hughes to speak first. Okay? In your opinion, what is the role of the state government in furthering quality education for the over 5 million students in Texas? And secondly, what is the role of federal government? With regard to the state government, of course, we've talked some. I guess each of us have mentioned the constitutional responsibility, which we take seriously. It's the biggest line item in the budget, as it should be. And so funding is the first thing we think of, because the state is to provide a system of free public schools. Uh, it's a state responsibility that we all share as members of this society. So funding is huge. I mentioned before the inadequacies in the funding. You probably know there's a lawsuit, but every 10 years or so, we have a school finance lawsuit. We have one now. And again, Schools in our part of the state are not being treated fairly. Uh, this is a, a state responsibility, and so we've got to provide adequate and fair funding. That's not happening today. Now, we've made a little progress, but it's not happening where it needs to be. I suspect after the Supreme Court rules uh, early this, this year, we'll be back, if not in a special session, the next legislature will deal with this. But funding is obviously important. It takes money to do this. The money has to be spent wisely. More and more, we have mandates that can be pilot from the state and the federal government. And again, we've had bills to reduce these mandates to free of our schools. We've got to keep pushing that. Uh, the testing, everybody knows how Texas just went crazy with state standardized testing. I know everybody's aware of that. We've scaled that back some, and finally the feds have given us some relief where we can scale it back further. Uh, I supported the commission, I, I voted for the bill to set up the Commission on Next Generation Accountability Standards. This meeting last week was the first meeting their superintendents, teachers, folks in the private sector, parents, to move us away from these high stakes tests toward real time accountability that's going to help and help meet students where they are. So the state responsibility is adequate and fair funding and then accountability for the way it's being spent in a way that makes sense. And then get out of the way, scale back the education code, let teachers do their job, let them do their, what they're supposed to do, what they want to do. As far as the federal responsibility, the feds have no business in public education. We need to keep them out as much as we possibly can. 